Using projection command, we're going to be able to project curves onto faces, planes, and surfaces. Now you should be in the generative shape design application. Now the projection command is located under the wireframe section bar and within the action bar below it, you can go ahead and you can find it right here, projection. And if you don't see it there, select on the downward arrow button, a pop-up menu will appear, and then you can select projection. Now we get a tools palette as well as a projection definition dialog box. For this example, we're going to use the projection definition dialog box only in this example. Now if we look right away, we have, we have a tubular surface and we have a spline out in space. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that spline and we're going to project it onto that tubular surface. Now to do so, we're going to go ahead and first to the projection type. And there's a drop down menu. If you go ahead and select on that, notice you have the choice of a normal or a long direction. Now the normal projects the curves normal to the support surface or plane. The along a direction projects the curves or spline in this instance along a set direction onto the support surface or plane. So basically you're going to add an extra option of adding a direction which could be in this instance it could be a plane probably used to create this tubular surface. But for this example we're going to go ahead and use normal and that's going to be one less item that we have to select. So we're going to go ahead and into projected and for projected we're going to go ahead and select the spline here. Now the supports going to be the tubular surface. Now next notice we have nearest solution and that has been checked. The nearest solution basically defines which projected curves are kept. If there are multiple solutions to the projection uh, usually CATIA creates multiple curves by putting a check in the box next to nearest solution, Catillo will only keep the curves nearest the original curves. So we always basically want to keep that on. And next we have smoothing and we have extrapolation mode. We're going to go ahead and select none on these for this instance. And basically it gives us the choice of a tangency and curvature in both modes, which is basically the tangency is of G for G1 curves and curvatures for G2. So let's go ahead and we're going to hit preview first. This is where it gets a little tricky because we're projecting this particular spline onto a different shaped surface. We're going to get a different shape on that surface as you notice here. And that's quite common when you do that. It's basically going to give you a shape that's different as it's projected onto a curved surface. And when you're happy with that, go ahead and select OK and there you have it. Now I highly recommend for you to go down below go through the procedures and also look at all the other information regarding the other option of along a direction.